Welcome. In this video, I wanted to talk about some of the tools I have from a company that you're probably familiar with the name of, but they don't exist anymore. So this is my tool set I have, and these are Allen tools here. And most people probably know Allen due to this, and it's the Allen wrench or a hex wrench. And this is like a Swiss Army style fold up Allen wrench. This is probably one of my least used of all these tools here. Is the actual Allen wrench. So, um, so the thing is, people know the name Allen, but they may not know that they used to make regular hand tools. And the other interesting thing is this. Here we have a Craftsman ratchet, and here we have an Allen ratchet. And you'll notice here they're nearly identical, and that's because Allen was the manufacturer of a lot of Craftsman hand tools. Um, so I worked at Sears in from I think it was 95 to 98, so three years in the auto center. And um, these are the tools you might see at that time. These are the craftsman tools you would see. And at the same time I was going to college and near my college was a, uh, a tool uh, supplier, industrial tool supplier, and they sold Allen tool, Allen brand. So it would seem like if I was working at Sears, I would just get Craftsman Tool, and we actually got a discount on Craftsman Tools. But the reason I got Allen is because, um, you know, everyone in the shop at Sears, I mean, not everyone, but a lot of people had Craftsman Tools. So if you had just this wrench sitting around that said Craftsman on it, well, whose is it? Who knows? But I was the only one in the shop that had Allen. <laughs> so um, I ended up getting these Allen tools, and the prices were comparable. It was a good price. And I think they have lifetime warranty on them, but um, I never broke any. But these, um, Allen was part of Danaher, and they made Craftsman tools. They also made Master Force, maybe some for Napa. I don't know. They made tools for a lot of different companies. And things changed, and these were all made in the USA. I think everything here is made in the USA. And things changed, and they stopped manufacturing tools in the U.S., and then this brand is gone now as far as their hand tools. You can still get Allen branded keys. So what I have here is the Imperial set of wrenches. I have one inch, uh, 15 16 7 8 13 16 3 quarter, 11 16 5 8 9 16 1 half, 7 16 3 8 5 16 and quarter inch. And if you hold these up next to a Craftsman, they're nearly identical. The Craftsman were like kind of raised in the middle, had like a little raised area. But otherwise, they're pretty much the same dimensions. At the same time, Craftsman also had a chrome-plated set. They're smooth, and Allen did too, and I think those are probably the same too, but I was fine with this finish on them. Um, then I also had the metric set. I had 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7. And I forget exactly how I bought these. I think I bought one of these as a set maybe both of them, and I think I may have had to add some wrenches here or there, um, so I'd have a full set. So I was an alignment technician at the time, so I used a lot of these bigger wrenches to um, adjust tie rods, and you know, you'd use sometimes like 13 millimeter uh, to loosen the little clamps on the tie rods, and then you'd hook it inside another wrench. Uh, it's kind of hard to do one-handed, and make like a little cheater bar with them. And I never broke any of these wrenches, they all worked very well. So those are, those are my wrenches. My ratchets I had was this uh, half inch flex head, and I use this in a lot of videos, and I had the three uh, eighths inch flex head, and then I also had this here, and some people might recognize this. My father has a set of Craftsman ratchets that are this exact same design, and this is more of a micro ratchet, you can kind of hear. The interesting thing here though is this is micro ratchet back in the 90s. Today, the micro ratchets are way better than this. And these things are chunky. I mean, these uh, have a very wide arc on them. They're not near as good as these. So I really like this. This wrench cost me quite a bit of money. Craftsman still had this wrench when I bought this one, but I never saw it in the Sears store. You had to order it from them. And I bought this on off the shelf at um, the supplier I went to. This also has this like kind of speed um, thing on here. You could turn it with your thumb. And the traditional one didn't. So the I actually had another a Craftsman one like this. I think I sold it at a garage sale, um, and it was I had a three H just like this that wasn't flex head and it was shorter. 
but this thing is superior. And then I got this little um, quarter inch drive. And this is was identical to my Craftsman one. Uh, I probably didn't need to get this because I had the Craftsman one, but I just wanted a matching set. So I got that. Uh, this is one of the first things I bought was an extension. It's a half inch impact extension. I also had a half inch uh, non-impact extension. And this is one of my favorite tools. So my father has a Craftsman version of this, but this is a uh, like a screwdriver handle you can put a socket on. But the thing I like about this is it's also an extension. So you can put say like a 10 millimeter socket on there, throw your ratchet on here, break a bolt loose, take the ratchet off and then finish it off just like a screwdriver. And I love this thing. Uh, I, I hope I never lose it because I use it all the time. And this was one of my most used tools here. This is a impact universal joint. And like I said, I was a, a, an alignment technician. So to loosen the uh, lower shock or strut mounts, you put on a, I forget the size, I think it's like 22 millimeter socket on there and I'd use the impact and I'd have to get this up in there and loosen those um, nuts on there. So this worked very well. One thing that was good and bad about this is it had that little pin. So to take the socket off, you had to stick a little screwdriver in there to release that pin as opposed to just having like a ball bearing in there, but it held more secure. But I saw people break these things all the time, like, um, you know, Mac and um, I think Snap-on ones are pretty good. But the Craftsman ones were a little bit different from this. The ones that I saw, this thing was very durable and it lasted a long time. And then I had this big socket here. I think this was for taking axle nuts off of like a, for a CV half shaft. And then I had a 24 millimeter, 22 millimeter and 19 millimeter impact sockets. And I had some other impact sockets too, but these are the main ones I used. So I, I had other tools, but this was a lot of my, I had a full uh, socket set, a craftsman socket set that I had before I got the job. But um, these were a lot of the tools I used for my job. Like uh, these are, were I think were all the deep sockets I had at the time because I started out doing batteries and tires. So I had a 15 millimeter deep, 13 millimeter deep, 7 16 millimeter deep. And I know people on the internet's gonna, they're gonna think this is weird, but I have two 10 millimeter uh, deep sockets. And I don't know where I got the second one. Um, I don't remember that until I was getting ready to make this video that I had that. So, um, you know, I, I don't tend to lose those like some people. And then I had the Allen uh, key set. And then I had three breaker bars. And I gotta say, these have barely been used because um, if you look here, this ratchet's longer. Let's see if it's longer than this, yeah. So these ratchets are longer uh, than the breaker bars. Although, you know, in theory this could be stronger, but I, you know, I had an impact wrench if I had to break something loose. And then, you know, the little one, you know, how often do you need to break something loose? But I don't know, for some reason I bought those. <laughs> And then the last two tools I had were a cold chisel and a punch that are also the Allen brand. So, and I would imagine these probably matched up with the Craftsman ones too. So, so that's my Allen tool collection and um, I'm still using them today. I don't have any reason to replace any of these. They work great. And nowadays when I get some things, I, um, I've had Tecton brand, Harbor Freight um, to get some tools that I don't have, but I really like these Allen tools, and like I say, they're nearly identical to the Craftsman tools at the time, and um, I really like the quality of Craftsman at the time, and uh, I'm going to hopefully pass these on to my kids. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that, and thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.